Welcome to ScanScore 3, a modern, easy-to-use score scanning program with integrated music notation tools. When you open ScanScore for the first time, you will be directed to this introductory video for an easy start and also to the help files, which will introduce you even more precisely to the menu structures. Feel free to take a look at them. You will now see a selection box between the scan mode and the new score mode. In scan mode, you can digitize and edit your scores with just a few clicks, while the score mode offers an even wider range of editing options. But more on that later. First, let's take a look at the scan mode. After you click the scan button, there are four options. You can scan sheet music in paper format with a physical scanner or import already digitized PDF or image files from your computer. You can also use your smartphone to scan with the ScanScore Capture app, which you can find in the iOS app or the Google Play Store. If you already have saved a project, you can use the last button to open a ScanScore document. In the next part, you will see how to import and scan scores. For simplicity, let's now select a PDF from the FilePath browser. For a good result, make sure that your score is in good quality. For multi-page PDF files, you can specify the pages to import. For example, you can skip the title page. Then select the matching page format. The more pages you scan, the longer the recognition process will take. When the scanning process is finished, you will be asked to enter a start tempo. Of course, this and other playback settings can also be edited later. Here we go, the scan is done. In scan mode, your scanned nodes are displayed in a split screen. The scanned image file is on the left and the recognized nodes on the right side. The blue crosshair helps you to orientate yourself. On the left side of the screen, you see an overview of the scanned pages and at the top, there are the menus for setting various options. To correct errors, ScanScore provides you with a whole range of intuitive editing options with a six foldable toolbars. For example, you can edit notes and rests, techniques and dynamics. Depending on what you need, the toolbars can be sorted by drag and drop. To navigate through the score, you can scroll with the mouse wheel or the touchpad. Hold down the control key and use the mouse wheel or your touchpad to zoom in on a specific bar or part. During your editing, this might speed up your workflow more than using the zoom buttons. Depending on how you can work best, the split screen can also be switched from vertical to horizontal. There are three important tools in ScanScore. The Select tool lets you select and edit elements. The Drag tool helps you to also navigate in the zoomed-in view. To avoid having to keep moving the mouse from the score to the toolbar over and over again, you can also quickly switch between the Select and the Drag tool with the shortcut D. The eraser can be used to remove selected elements. Alternatively, press the Delete or, if you're on a Mac, the Backspace key. If you want to undo an editing step, use the undo button or the control or command and Z shortcut. There are many self-editable shortcuts to useful functions available in the options menu. Simply double click to change them. Notes can easily be grabbed with a selection tool. This way you can change the pitch by dragging. You can change note values at the top in the note toolbar or with a shortcut associated with a note value. ScanScore underlines bars with errors with a light blue or a dark blue line. If the dark blue line is displayed, this means that notes are missing in the selected bar. The displayed number refers to the voice that causes problems. If a bar is highlighted with a light blue line, there are too many notes in the bar. Take a look at one of our tutorials for more detailed troubleshooting. With the play button or the space bar, you start the playback. 
In the playback window, you can also add a metronome or slow down the playback tempo for practicing. In the mixer, you can also mute or solo instruments, change the panorama and select other sounds. You can not only select single elements, but also several, by dragging a rectangle. Double click to select an entire bar. If you click once to the left of the staff, you select the current staff. If you double click, you select all the staves of this instrument. With the new properties in the window menu, you can fine tune many elements of your score. Here you can, for example, change the type of text and with that its anchoring. Adjust the font, the size and alignment of your texts. You can also use the properties to change the start tempo, the appearance of notes and the loudness of dynamics. In the file menu, you save scores as ScanScore project or PDF files, but you can also export them as MIDI or XML files to another program. In ScanScore 3, the XML export has been optimized for common music notation programs. In the Preferences, you can select your score editor from the drop-down menu and export XML files with a layout adapted to your particular program. So far, ScanScore has been a score scanning program with some editing capabilities. However, in the new score mode, even more notation functions are available. Here, finally, the layout can be customized. You have a variety of different views at hand for this. In the new layout menu, you can also add system and page breaks, or set the number of bars per system yourself. In the score mode, you can also create and customize individual parts for instrumentalists. If you want to change the score for a transposing instrument or simply to a different key, you will find this function in the Organize menu. Here you can also add and sort new instruments from the categories and write your piece for a different instrumentation, something many of you have requested. You can also quickly adjust the time signature for the whole score or just for one part of your choice. If you work with note shortcuts, you can write new parts for your piece very quick. In the note menu, you then can group the beams by hand or automate the beam connections by a certain note value. Many have also been waiting for this. In the bar menu, you can add or delete bars from the score. Of course, you can also copy and paste sections. Add your own parts to your piece and compose a little intro, for example. From now on, you can download the new ScanScore 3 from our website. ScanScore Melody is a simple and low-cost version for simple songs with one staff. With ScanScore Ensemble, you can scan and edit up to four staves at once. For example, piano sheet music or a choral set. With ScanScore Professional, you have no boundaries. You can scan extensive orchestral scores. At scan-score.com en, you can download the free version with all features but with limited export functions. We constantly want to improve your experience with ScanScore, so tell us in the comments what you wish for in the next coming updates that are included in your purchase annual license, of course. See ya!